everyone, it's Livy here. Welcome back to my channel, long time no see. I wanted to do a hair tutorial as my little intro back into Livy Says because I've never done a hair tutorial, ever, ever, ever. And times when I've tried to restart this channel, I've done things I've done before, like celebrity makeup looks or hauls or reviews. And I thought, bollocks to that. I am going to do a hair tutorial because I've never done one before. So I'm gonna show you how to get this really cool boho Blake Lively style braid. If you Google Blake Lively, boho, this is like the picture that comes up all over Google Images at various different angles. It's a really cool look. I haven't got the braided, not the braided, <laughs> I haven't got the little fun flower clip because I don't own one and also because it's not really my style. So I've just done it. Messy, boho, don't really care. Her hair is a lot longer than mine. Mine's like that long, <laughs> but you can really do this from about, I'd say from about mid length downwards. If you wanted to do it shorter, what I'd actually recommend is doing like a French style fishtail braid and then muss it that way. That would be really cool. Maybe we'll try that in another video. So I hope you enjoy and if you want to see how to get this look, then keep on watching. So the first thing that you want to do is push your hair into a side parting. I've pushed mine into quite a far parting just because Blake's is quite far over too. And then just pull your hair all the way over to one side. If you've got layers, pin it, just use a couple of bobby pins and just make sure that for now this stuff here is away from your head. We'll pull some strands out later but just keep that there. To take about two inch section of your hair, you can make it as straight as you like. What I tend to do is just look for my layers, my shorter layers, like these ones here. There we go. That one can stay, that's fine. Twist it. I'm just going to pin it on top of my head in this incredibly fetching my Cyrus style hairdo. So then you've got all of this little lot here to work with. The first thing I like to do is hairspray it. Just because this gives it a little bit of texture and that actually helps me then to work out where I want to piece the braids. So you've got two fishtail braids that you want to want to do. One's going to be bigger than the other. So we'll start with the smaller one just because when I did this earlier, I started with the larger one and then I didn't have enough hair left for the smaller one, so it was like a little too small. I'm taking again about maybe three inches worth of hair. I'm actually going to take it from the back. You can take it further forward, it's just that I need to have enough hair on this side to pull into the braid at the bottom. That much there. Yep, three inches really. Now if you've never done a fishtail braid before, don't be kind of alarmed by them because they're a lot easier than they look. Essentially all you want to do is split your braid into two bits. There we are, two bits like that. First thing I'm going to do, hairspray both bits and that way then they're nice and sticky. You want it to be sticky so that you get some texture going. Then I'm going to take a very small strand from the back piece of hair, just one small strand, and I'm going to cross it over and link it with this bit. Now holding this second piece with my other hand, I'm going to take a strand of hair from the second piece and cross it to match the first bet. And thus you have the crisscross motion of a fishtail braid. I'll show you again. Piece from the back of the first strand, cross over the top, almost like a weave, and add it to the second part. Repeat the motion, take a piece from the second and add to the first, and then work your way down. At this stage, you can really do it as loose or as tightly as you want. You can make the strands as thick or as thin as you want. If the hair starts to feel nice and soft, hairspray it and keep working at it. I'm using some of different sizes for each strand. I'm trying not to make it even just because my hair falls naturally neatly. I don't have messy hair in this light test, so I have to really create that. And the problem is that if I do it evenly, it will look perfect, which I suppose in some looks would be cool, but in this you don't want that. You want this to be really imperfect. Now, you want to continue this braid. I'm actually going to say go halfway down the strand of hair you're using. I'm using sh my shorter layers at the back, so this hair stops about that much higher than the rest of my hair. So I'm going to stop that there and with one hair tie, you don't need more than one, you can use a clear one if you like but I find clear 
elastic bands, the kind of see-through ones can be incredibly damaging to my hair. So I'd rather have the kind of the black hair tie that at least I know is going to be soft on my ends and not damage them. Put it right at the bottom, not so obviously so far down you've not got any leeway, just at the bottom. Because you can pull it down as you like and you'll notice that the braid will start to loosen and move as you go. I'm now just going to pull at the strands, you know, dig my fingers in and just muss it up a little, you know. You don't want it looking too neat and tidy. You see what I mean though when I say if I don't intentionally do different size strands, it will just go neat. Hairspray it, tug it around again. Pull bits out, I'm going to leave that like that for now. We're going to move on to the larger braid. So I'm just going to flip that one over to the top of my Miley Cyrus do and let it hold on to it. And I'm actually going to take a fairly large section of hair. As you can see, I'm leaving all this lot underneath, but I've taken a lot of hair for the second braid. You're going to need it just to make sure it looks really thick. Split it into two. And again, start your fishtail braid. Take a piece from strand one and cross it to strand two. Piece from strand two and cross it to strand one and then repeat the process. What I'm gonna do is again, do different size strands, just so that then when they pull apart, that it doesn't look too neat or tidy. I know it looks like it's being done really tightly, but the second that you tie it at the bottom, after only doing about half a braid, you'll notice that you'll have done just enough. I'm going to stop probably about there. Can you see it? That's kind of uneven. I'm going to go down to the bottom and before I do anything I'm just going to hairspray it both sides just so that when I start to pull it apart it kind of sets. Just kind of dig around in there. Spray as much as you need. Okay, nice fishtail braid there. Here's the second one. Untie it, and all you want to do is hold them together at the bottom and tie them for the minute. We're not leaving them like this, we're just going to tie them for a minute. So the goal now is just to add some texture to the underside of the hair. So I'm going to hairspray it, and with my tail comb, I'm going to do a gentle back comb. Please do it gently. Don't like start hacking up because you're going to get about a hundred split ends, maybe more. But if you do it gently, and after you do a hairstyle with back combing, ease it out with conditioner. That is like my biggest tip for it. Because if you don't, it's going to get really split and it's going to be horrendous. And then you'll have to chop all your hair off. Okay, can you see how back combed that is? So now these are undone. I'm going to hairspray the bottom and hairspray that part, fiddle them again, like that. And then with all of this hair that we've just back combed, you just want to tie the whole lot together at the bottom. Now if you're like me and you have some layers in your hair, you know, shorter pieces, don't really worry too much because it's, it's not really meant to look really, really tidy. And if they're a bit sort of pulling out, just sort of hairspray them and sort of add them into the madness. Okay, and now it's just the top part. So here's the top section of my hair down. I'm gonna hairspray that as well. So what I've done, pulled out a couple of strands on that side just to add a bit of dimension over there. And with the part of my hair, the upper layer, I'm gonna back comb it underneath just a little, just to kind of pull my layers together so they're easier to work with. And what she's done is kind of had them pinned like that, which you can do because she's got the big flower hiding it. It kind of hides the extra ends. What I'm going to do is wrap them in a little circle, not a particularly tidy circle, so that I can pin it in place. I like to double pin just to make things easier. And I'm just going to leave my bangs as they are because 
they're kind of behaving. And here is the finished look. This is a really fun braided hairstyle, I think, for summer, all through summer. I'll personally also wear it in winter. I'm a really big fan of bohemian hairstyles. I'm not even going to say that my dress sense is all that bohemian, but I really like bohemian hairstyles, so I kind of mush my own style in with a bit of boho, but if you want to see more hair tutorials, then um, let me know in the comments below, because that would be cool. I'd like to know what you guys think and what you would like to see. I've got a tutorial for the eye makeup that I'm wearing, and that is on my new channel. Yes, I have a new channel as well. I've got two going at the same time. And my second channel is going to be linked both here, if you click my face. It's also going to be in the description box below the video. So it's just my name, which is Olivia, and then my name of my blog website thing, which is Vanderhart. Um, so it's Olivia Vanderhart, all in one word, but you can just Google Vanderhart.com, that's my website. And um, I'll link my second channel here, but the link to that is youtube.com forward slash Vanderhart blog. So if you want to go and check that out, you can see the makeup tutorial for this look. I've basically started doing a series on there called Drugstore Eyes, where I basically do tutorials on how to get colourful, smoky, fun makeup looks using drugstore eyeshadows and drugstore makeup products because I think that's cool. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you guys soon with my next video. Bye bye.